In this video, I will demonstrate the first use case for F5 distributed cloud WAP. This use case will demonstrate how to protect an application exposed on internet. So first of all, what is WAP? WAP means Web Application and API Protection. So the first pillar is the WAF. A WAF is a negative and positive security, okay, based on signatures and patterns, based on something that I know. But it's not only static protection, it's as well a dynamic protection thanks to machine learning and behavioral engines. So our WAF relies on machine learning models and we're able to block malicious attacks that we know, thanks to the signatures. There are five signatures that you may know from the big IP, for instance, but as well based on behavior. So we're able to track a user, track a source, score this source, and block malicious users. What's more, there, there is a second engine and machine learning, for instance, working on the fault positive. So reduce the fault positive thanks to this new engine. This is the WAF. The second one is bot defense. So there are two kinds of bot defense. The traditional bot defense where we, we detect bot sources based on a pattern, a signature, a curl, end map, stuff like that. But thanks to the shape security solution, an acquisition for F5, now we have something much more smart and this shape security bot defense is able to detect any bot mimicking to, uh, a human. Okay, so this is a advanced bot defense in our WAP solution. The third pillar, DOS mitigation, DDoS mitigation, volumetric DDoS, and layer seven HTTP application DDoS uh, protection. The last one, API security, API protection. Nowadays, all modern applications are API first, API driven. So for security operation, for SecOps, it's important to be able to know which API to protect, which API endpoint, and able to detect shadow APIs. This is WAP, Web Application API Protection. So let's take an example. In my example, let's say I have an application up and running for a while, for perhaps two, three, five years, exposed on the internet f5.com, freewf5.com. This application is up and running so far so good, but it's not protected. And I'm looking for a, an easy way to expose the application everywhere in the world and protected by WAP protection. DDoS, but WAP. An API if my application is based on API. So the first things to do is to use F5 distributed cloud network. So the F5 distributed cloud network is a war war network, okay, with more than 20 pops, 20-ish pops all over the world. So many pops in Europe, many pops in North America, pops in, the, in Asia as well, in Australia, and as you can see on the map, all interconnected together through, through a tier one uh, provider. So those pops can deliver the WAP solution. So at a five, we name those pop RE, regional edge. It's a pop that we own, okay? It's our own pop. They are not deployed in public cloud. They are in, in a building. We have racks. Those are our pops, okay? So let's say we have 20 pops in the world and I want to protect my application, freewdata5.com. What I'm gonna do as a secops, I will connect to an F5 console. And through F5 console, in few clicks, less than three minutes, my application will be exposed and protected. So when the application is exposed and protected, now consumer, consumers and users will connect to the closest pop. Okay, if I'm based in Paris, we have two pops in Paris, so I will connect to one of the two pops. If I'm based in the Nordics, north of Europe, I will connect to Stockholm pops and so on. So every consumer will connect to the closest, uh, the closest uh, pop, F5 pop. Then the console will deliver a lot of analytics and observability for the SecOps and the NetOps. So 
We're going to have observability on the WAF itself with a WAF dashboard, WAF top 10 visibility, the bot protection, the DDoS protection, the malicious users. Uh, if you remember when I explained the malicious and the behavioral analysis, all these information are available in the dashboard. Thanks for watching this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one for the second use case.